When a shape you need is not among the standard shapes, you'll have to create it yourself. And although your first instinct might be to draw the shape, most of the time you can create a more complex shape simply by combining basic shapes. Let's take a look at the four different Boolean operations that we have to choose from. With two shapes overlapping and both selected, union will merge them together, creating the sum of the two shapes. Subtract will use the shape on top to delete from the shape underneath. Intersect will take the overlapping areas of those two paths and make them one. And Difference will take the overlapping areas and delete them, making them transparent. Not only do Boolean operations allow us to combine two shapes, but they also retain the separate nature of the two original paths. If I double click on a combined shape, the result of a Boolean operation, I'm able to select either of the subpaths and move them around. I still have two independent circles in this case. Each can be selected, manipulated, and the points can even be edited still. On my layers list, I can see that I have the oval subpath and the oval 14 subpath, both selectable and both still editable. With that, I also have the ability to switch Boolean operations on the fly. If I change my mind and decide to switch to the subtract Boolean operation, it's not too late. When you're ready to commit to the shape that you've created as a result of your Boolean operation, select the main layer and then choose flatten from the toolbar at the top. This combines the two paths into one, giving you the same end result as a hand-drawn path. If you're coming from other design applications, you may be inclined to flatten your paths each time you use Boolean operations. In Sketch, that's not necessary. You can apply many different Boolean operations together on top of one another with no need to flatten. 